Community Viewpoint. Welcome to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment. Yes, and I'm still alive from Burning Man. I made it back. Uh, as you saw, last couple of three weeks, we had uh, uh, reruns. Uh, they were uh, reruns about something that's very important that's going to be coming to Pahrump once, uh, once again. It's called uh, uh, the uh, RAM event. What does RAM stand for? Remote Area Medical Event. Uh, if you watch the show for the last three weeks, I don't have to talk about it anymore. Uh, there was an article in the Mirror, and there's going to be another article in the uh, the Prom Valley Times, and also we'll have more public service announcements in the coming days, October 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, if you need any health issues uh, rectified, optical, dental, and uh, what am I missing? Mental health. Mental health. And uh, please stop by and... Uh, no questions asked. You'll be uh, looked at. So on with the show. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, something that's near and dear to my heart because I am a veteran. We have with us today uh, Linda Wright, who is going to be talking about the veteran stand down. So how many have you been in charge of uh, that I've been part of too? Probably four. Four of them? This will be the fourth one. Yeah. Time flies, right? Yes. Yes. And those that all have been at the uh, Home, Home Depot. Depot. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you would continue, please. Well, our veterans stand down is very v near and dear to my heart. Um, I come from a military family. My father was a Marine. My husband is a um, Army. My son is both Marine and Army. And um, so this is very near and dear to my heart. And the stand down is going to be on Thursday, October 19th at the Home Depot parking lot uh, from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we're going to offer a lot of services. We'll be helping you access your VA benefits, employment, counseling, social services, haircuts, eye exams, health screening, screenings, free showers, and much, much more. And we'll also have non-perishable foods for you to take home, clothing, blankets, shoes, personal care items, and also we'll have food and refreshments for you. Okay. Um, health screenings, gonna, that's going to be by... Um, Hopefully. I don't know. Okay. That's to be determined. To be yeah. determined. We're, I'm still getting registrations from all the organizations. And just the same way with the, the RAM event. And we're right. getting close to the wire. Close to the and wire. We still need uh, dentists and uh, some other folks, too. Yes. But it'll all fall into place. Yes. And you're going to have uh, food and refreshments, uh, eye exams, haircuts, counseling, employment. Um, so... What time was this going to be? Nine. Nine a.m. till three p.m. on a Thursday afternoon or Thursday all day mm -hmm. in the Home Depot parking lot at three hundred one North Highway one hundred and sixty in Pahrump, Nevada. Now, what kind of groups uh, have we had there before that came there? Well, we've had the VA out f um, from, and this year I have a response from um, all different areas of the VA hospital. And um, I also have social services, and I have um, um, Lee's Funeral Home has responded, mm -hmm. and um, I have some handymen that have responded that offer services, and we have John with his free showers. That means somebody else. Yes, John and his showers. So there will be showers if um, a veteran needs one. And um, the Lions Club will be out with their eye exams again. So we have a lot of, lot of, lot of things to offer. And the VFW has their clothes and blankets. And um, so does the DAV and the Elks. So we have a lot of different organizations and a lot of different um, services that is provided in the community. So like, you know, like we mentioned, we've done that four times here already. Yes. And all the different um, branches of the services are, are welcome and expected yes. to, uh, to be there too. Uh, 
whether you have a, a residence or not, if you're homeless, uh, we have uh, ways to uh, bring you down there also. Right. Um, possibly the uh, the vet trans. If, if we're yes, available. vet trans is available for transportation if you need it. You can give me a call and I'll set you up with that with the phone number for vet trans, and um, they will get you there. <laughs> you might have to see, look at me because I may be driving. It might be John. Yeah. John is one of our drivers. That's one of those volunteer things that they get and, and stuck, not stuck with, but I say yes too many times. Yes. yes. But. Um, and Home Depot has graciously um, volunteered to cook for us again. To, um, okay. So we'll have, um, they will be barbecuing. Well, that's good. So hopefully the weather will be good. We've had pretty good weather most of the, most of the time, I'd say. Yes. Yes. Last year it rained, but we still bit. served our yeah. veterans. Yeah, so it wasn't uh, that bad. No. So uh, anything else to look for? Let's see for the stand down. No. If if you're interested, if you're an organization and would like to come out and yes. offer your services, you can give me a call at seven seven five four one nine seven eight five seven. Or you can email me at lwright.la.vfw at gmail.com, and I'll send you out a registration form or give you any other information that you want. Okay, and that's great. And you'll be seeing these flyers around, the colorful flyers. I'll make sure there's one at the library. We'll have them in other places around uh, for a so, something called the, the Ice Cream Social? Yes. Um, it's a fundraiser for Relay for Life that's coming up on Sunday, October 1st from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the VFW uh, post on Homestead Road. And uh, all the funds will go f for Relay for Life, and it's sponsored by Boogie Shakers Crunch Dried uh, team. Really? Okay. Yes, and that's my granddaughter's team. Oh, okay. And um, she's a high school student, and uh, she does fairly well at raising funds for Relay to to support cancer. And, um, and when's the Relay coming up? Relay will be October four, Saturday, October 14th, and it'll be at Ian Deutsch Park this year. Oh, okay. And instead of um, Petrick, and it'll be from 11 a.m. till 11 p.m. Um, it's not going over do overnight, but we're going to still do all the same things that we normally do on an overnight. So we want everybody to come out and sign up for Relay. And again, that is Saturday, October 14th from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Ian Deutsch. And we're look especially looking for our survivors to come out. Please, if you're a survivor of cancer, please come out and register for Relay. We are looking for you this year, so please come out. And anybody else that wants to be part of Relay, um, go online to um, relay.org and go to Pahrump and sign up. You got next year's shirt on, 2018. Yes, because okay. that That's next great. year I will be um, state president for the Department of Nevada for the VFW Auxiliary. You said yes to something else. I said yes uh, to something okay. else. When are you going to learn? When are you going to learn? Uh, yes. No, it's, it's a worthy cause. Yes. But I've been doing that for years, too. And when you get started, it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. But so, it's all for for good cause. good cause for our veterans. Yes. So another thing we have to look forward to, I know you've always asked, whatever, whatever happened to Scotty's Castle? Uh, so during the fall festival, I was hanging around the uh, uh, Death Valley uh, National Park uh, exposition or their little uh, area there. And October 7th and 8th, there's going to be a um, Scotty's Castle Days. So you're invited. Nothing fancy, but uh, it's been two years since the flash flood destroyed the road and the mm -hmm. utilities to Scotty's Castle. And they're not going to be around. And they're not going to be open to, until 2019. But the, this free public event will offer an opportunity to remember the beauty and story of Scotty's Castle through a virtual reality experience. Uh, new Scotty's Castle exhibits and other programming. So if you want to be part of that down at the Furnace Creek Visitor Center, 
uh, you're more than welcome to go down there uh, October 7th and 8th. If you want to find out more about that, please contact <coughs> Death Valley National Park Public Affairs at 760-786-3221 or the park website nps.gov forward slash uh, DEVA, D-E-V-A. It doesn't mean that kind of DEVA, <laughs> though. So many, pl plenty of other things coming. Hopefully I get Susan Sorrells out here because the Shoshone uh, Old West Days will be coming up November 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Don't forget that. Uh, that's a lot of art, a lot of uh, old vehicles over there, music, uh, and uh, arts and crafts are over there also. A lot of things are happening. This, uh, there's Susan right there. And uh, if you want to see about the 20th anniversary for Channel uh, 46, or channel, the old Channel 41, uh, there's a good article about that in here also. And also the RAM event. So there's a lot of things that are happening uh, in here, and uh, you can see what's happening in the near future. And if you just look, there's always something happening. Yes. So we will see you next week. Hopefully we will have someone from the Amargos Opera House next week. So uh, please stay tuned for that. Thank you, Linda. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Conrad. And we'll see you next week. Community Viewpoint. Thank mm -hmm. you.